I have an engine hoist. I have an engine. The goal is to get this engine hoisted and mounted on that engine mount. And these, I have to get all of these things off here so I can get to the engine, but these are all of our steel parts. These are the flapper on weights and they're very weighty. These are the chair frames. Very nice, the seat frames. This is our control stick. Uh, other little doodads and thingamabobs. This is a nice one, look at that. Looks like a freaking, some sort of, some sort of ancient tool of warfare or something, I don't know. Um, and we have all of these powder coated and we got door handles, little thingamabobbles for the wings or something. Bungee pin thingy that we're not using because we don't have a bungee. Little other things, pins and whatnot. Uh, ooh, it spins. All right, so I got to box all these up and get them out of here. And I was just rearranging a bunch of stuff. Right now, the garage is kind of in a in a reorg because we're moving everything around. So uh, we're still trying to get that figured out. Um, so I'm going to get these boxed up and get going on this. Once you start building an airplane, you will not be getting rid of pretty much any kind of plastic reusable container because you will have many little things that need to be put into little places to be organized and stored. Oh my. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. It's all right there. Super. So take all these steel parts, stick them in the cabinet here. In fact, I'll probably stick most of these steel parts in the cabinet. Let's see if we have room. Oh yeah, we got tons of room. Tons of room. Uh, spinner. Put them right there. What is in this box? Could it be an engine? It could be. And it is. Ooh. Right. Look at this. Ooh. Important warnings. I like it. Those are always fun. So. So this is uh, the UL Power 350 IS, so powerful that we had to reinforce the horizontal stabilizer, or will have to, once we redo it. Yeah, this baby is uh, it's gonna be plenty powerful. Now I just gotta figure out what goes where. Hmm. Uh, this looks like the hoist. I should probably I should probably look into actually how to hoist it. Does it hoist do you have to hook it up to the, to the front? Because it I know it doesn't balance right there. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to like take it out. How do I get it out of this box? Do I have to take the box apart? That's probably what I should do, huh? Yeah, that's gonna yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to take this apart. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and now is actually probably a good a time as any to show you some very brief footage of picking up the engine. Ooh, look at that, UL power. The two arrows in a glass. Dad, where are we? We are in the middle of Georgia, Sandersville, Kalen Airport, getting a motor all by ourselves. Because apparently there was some sort of logistical mix up or something but the important thing is we have the engine here and look at this baby oh it's so clean yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. look at that mm. so we've got to get this into there and it's raining now so and we have a dog friend yeah that just is friend. hanging out so that's what we're doing yay and we brought it back here and we put it on this nice furniture dolly thing so that we could, we could uh, wheel it around and it worked out pretty great. And it's really, it's a pretty small package. It fit in the uh, GMC Yukon just fine. And that's all, let's get back to it. Need some kind of a rope. Actually, I'll just use, I will use this strap here. Actually, well, yeah, 
I'll use this strap and what I'll do is I'll just I'll double this up a few times. So let me get this strap. Gonna do a good knot in here. And this engine only weighs like maybe like a hundred and sixty pounds or something. Not a whole lot. Okay. All right, let's get this position. Get this kind of positioned in front of here. Uh, let me get. Oh, ha! It's attached. Ha! Okay. Let me get this other foot here. Okay, I just remembered I actually need to find the hardware for this. So I need to find the mounting hardware. I looked up the torques and it's like 25 Newton meters, which is like 100 and, no, it's like 220 or something inch pounds. Don't have a torque wrench big enough, so I'm going to get one later, but I'll just get it close enough to mount right now. All right, let's see. I need to find all of the mounting hardware because it's in one of these boxes. I think it's this box. Uh, ah, ding, ding, ding. Okay, I think it's in here. Pretty sure it is. Probably. Or, no, yeah, okay. Oh, dang it. I'm running out of room already. Man. Dang. Okay. Don't need these anymore. That doesn't matter. Let's put this over there. hardware. Ah! Little rubber donut things. These look important. like that. The only thing I'm not seeing are the actual bolts. And I feel like those are going to be important when it comes to bolting on the engine. So now I need to find those. Okay, my bad. Uh, I'm finding more parts in the crate because I forgot that we didn't totally empty the crate. So I need, I have these parts, these uh, brackets. Thingies. Let's see, I'm going to need some washers. I need to find these bolts. Still haven't found these bolts. And uh, I'm not totally sure. These pictures are so horrible. It's just the angles and everything. Ah. Anyway, I'm not complaining. So let's... There's got to be more stuff in here. I just found the exhaust. But... Oh shoot. Okay, that's all that's all I can find now. Is there anything else down there? What's that? That's attached. That's still attached. Dang, well gotta get these gotta find these bolts somewhere. Shoot, I thought for sure that there'd be a little package here somewhere that had like bolts in it. I need just like four bolts would be great. Uh, I don't know why they would be packaged like separately. What's that? I don't even know what that is. Is that a mounting plate? 
Oh yeah. Could they be underneath? I mean, I guess they could be. I need the part number nine one two nine zero alpha four six zero. It's a like an eight millimeter by one point two five. What does that mean? M eight by one point two five. Metric socket head cap bolt. Cannot find it. Cannot find it. Uh, what are these? Is this? Does it go like this? It seems like kind of a lot. It seems like it was kind of sticking out. Uh, I may not get the engine mounted to, to today, but got much closer, which is a great thing. I just need to find some parts and get some clarification. So unless Dad did something with them that I don't know about, they must be somewhere in this crate. Maybe they got under the engine or something during shipping. So I'm going to hoist this up. I already went ahead and put these little, these little uh, rubber, you know, rubber bushings. The, what the heck are these called? Put these little rubber donut things on to the mount. And... All right, let's just try this out. Let's just test out hoisting this thing up, see how it goes, and uh, hopefully we'll find those bolts. Let me get my strap here, which should hold like a lot. And I'm going to, how am I gonna do that? I'll tell you what, I'll do it like this. I'll take this end, run it through here. And I'll put this end on the front there, just like that. Oh wow, okay, yeah. All right. There are no bolts to be found. Not totally sure what I'm going to do there. Alright, I'll come back if I find them. Okay, hey everybody. It has been a couple days since I put this thing on here, the engine mount. And uh, long story short, the bolts to actually mount the engine to the engine mount are not included. Why that is... I don't know why no one mentioned that. I don't know. From a customer's perspective, that's completely ridiculous and it's just very frustrating. But uh, I think I found the exact ones that we need from a supplier uh, down in Georgia. So those should be getting here tomorrow. So um, <clears throat> I'm not going to uh, give you the link to those yet, but if I find that they work, I will provide you with the, the link and all that stuff so that you can find those bolts uh, because you will need them because they're not included uh, when you purchase the, the UL Power engine kit and stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna do a video more about just specifically talking about that and explaining some of that stuff uh, probably in the next couple days and we'll actually get the engine mounted on there. Um, and I can't remember if I, if I in, ca in case I didn't mention, the, also the bolts when you order the firewall uh, well, the, when you order the mount from Zenith, be sure that you ask them for the bolts to mount the engine mount to the firewall. And you're going to need four 3 8 inch bolts and then two quarter inch bolts. I can't remember the length, but that's, that's what you need. So, oh boy. Uh, anyway, it's a dynamic situation, of course, building. So everything is kind of subject to change, but stay tuned for more information on that and actually getting the engine hung and uh, connected. So, see you later.